Interesting to see the black communities in Chicago and New York screaming bloody murder now because these illegal immigrants are coming into your towns, being sent into your towns to take over your shit, to take over your shelters for your homeless, take your jobs, everything. And now you're pissed off? I've been warning you folks, you black folks in the inner cities, for years. The white liberal politician is your f enemy. Malcolm X said it in 65 in a speech. The white liberal is the black man's enemy. He's a fox. He's a sneaky f He says that he's going to help you for his own personal agenda. And here is another fucking example of that. But yet you'll keep voting for these white fucking liberal politicians that don't give a f about you. Well said. Very well said. We should never be looking towards the all the races for help. Every tool we need to help ourselves is within reach. We can help ourselves. We're all all we've got. Ain't nobody trying to come and help us. Nobody cares about us. No one does. Oh, you didn't realize that? You didn't know that? You thought someone was going to come and help you? You think Jesus is coming to help you? Huh? No. Sorry to burst your bubble. Go to church all you want. If you don't implement any change in your life, nothing positive is going to happen. These white liberals are not our friends. They use us to garner power for themselves. It's all about power. That's all it's about. They do not care about us at all. They don't care about the gang, the gang killings in Chicago. They do not care about poverty in Africa. Nope. They just wait for a white police to kill a black person so they can march and kneel and virtue signal, put their fist in the air. All these empty gestures that don't mean anything. But we are so emotional as a people that all they have to do is just a little gesture, a little mention of an incident. And we're like, oh, they're for us. They're our allies. That word we like to use so much, allies, means nothing. No one cares about you, black people. No one does. We are the only one that should care about ourselves. That's why this whole gender war nonsense going on between us with our women has to stop. Has to stop. Because we're going down fast. We're being replaced very, very, very fast. That's what the Libras do. When they don't need you no more, they toss you aside, look for another minority group. And you are old news. They don't care. No one does. Integration, civil rights issues are all nothing but tools used by the whites who call themselves liberals against another group of whites who call themselves conservatives, either to get into power or to retain power. Among whites here in America, the political teams are no longer divided into Democrats and Republicans. The whites who are now struggling for control of the American political throne are divided into liberal and conservative camps. The white liberals from both parties cross party lines to work together toward the same goal. And white conservatives from both parties do likewise. The white liberal differs from the white conservative only in one way. The liberal is more deceitful, more hypocritical than the conservative. Both want power, but the white liberal is the one who has perfected the art of posing as the Negro's friend and benefactor. And by winning the friendship and support of the Negro, the white liberal is able to use the Negro as a pawn or a weapon in this political football game that is constantly raging between the white liberals and the white conservatives. <laughs> 